What's up everybody? I've been playing a lot of Tereba lately and sometimes you just feel cheated by that app. Whether it be the buttons hold on too long, the catcher malfunctions, or a prize dispute doesn't go your way, Tereba can be really difficult and sometimes you just feel taken advantage of. But every once in a while when Tereba malfunctions, you can use it to your advantage to win a prize a lot easier than you should be able to. Here's a couple of wins of me cheating Tereba. Let's take a look at the plays now. Thank you for watching. All right, first cheat win right here. Let's take a look at these Sumiko Gurashi puppets. We got some sticky bars, and we're gonna take a look at this prize back here. This one, I watched somebody play for, they dropped it, and then they played maybe $40 to try to drop it into the prize chute all the way. Problem is, the prize is hung up on the back. There's a small shelf in the back, and the prize fell right there, and didn't fall down all the way to the prize chute, and tripped the sensor. So, I didn't even want to go for that prize, I knew it wasn't possible, I'm going for the C prize. I've won both those blue prizes in the back, and I needed this C prize up front. So I thought it might go, maybe get right claw, try to rake it over, see if I get any movement, maybe a little bit of a lift. Catcher doesn't go down that far, didn't get much of a movement. But here's what happened, guys. Just after the catcher returned to its position, and the video is going to cut right about here, this prize falls into the prize chute, in between me relinquishing my turn. So I go immediately and try disputing the prize. You go on Tereba's site and you look for the dispute prize button. It's right underneath every single play, so that's what I did. Immediately for this prize, I hit prize dispute and a few minutes later, they came back with their ruling. And lo and behold, the GOT. This is the actual listing of my prize. They said I won and it's their rules. Who am I to argue? So that was really good win. Although I didn't get the footage of it, there was no shot of the actual drop. In between me relinquishing my turn, it did fall, I immediately disputed the prize, and luckily, they gave me the win. That was the first time I really felt like I took advantage of Tereba instead of the other way around. So in this setup, we have a Sumiko Gurashi bag, and I want you guys to take notice of the catcher. The catcher is down below the level of the prize. Look at the shovels right here. They're far below where they should be, and they're definitely far below the top of the prize, so I'm gonna go far back. I'm gonna try to take the catcher all the way back and hope that when it returns, it'll grab the prize and I won't have to put as much work as normal. So I go all the way back and that as far as you could go back, guys. You can't go back any further than that. They have the catcher set that way. So I thought you could go all the way to the platform. Didn't happen. I was watching a couple of players before me play and the catcher was broken. It definitely went all the way up and down. So it opens up and it doesn't drop. It doesn't drop at all because it's broken. The catcher's broken, like I said, it's in the down position and I took my chances that it might rake the prize when it got reset to its original spot. No such luck. So here we go with another setup. Same thing guys, broken catcher. The shovels of the catcher are so low. They are lower than the prize, top of this Lemillion prize right here. Definitely a lot lower than it. Broken catcher, shout out to Mrs. E. Claus for finding this one. I'm going to aim the catcher right here, right behind the head, just to the right of the prize. So I go right to miss the prize. I don't want to hit it. And then I go back just beyond the prize. Oh man, it kind of hit it, but still decent positioning for the return. It's not about the grab, guys. The fact that the catcher's broken means that it's not going to go up. And there we go. Back to its spot. Almost hits it in. Watch this. It gets caught up on the head because the catcher's so low. It hadn't returned to its original height, so it just rakes the prize as it gets back to its starting position. No go on that play, but I'm definitely going to try again. I mean, his legs are hanging over right there. I just got to do the same play. Go further right than you think. Oh, and it almost raked him. Left claw's still stuck on him. When I go back, it spun him. It spun him to the perfect position, guys. Oh, wow. I thought that was going to be a waste of another play. It didn't. It spun him into literally the perfect position with the catcher on the right hand side and just behind the prize. Opens up and now for the return. That's all we're waiting for. This is it. This is the key to this trick. This is the key to cheating Tereba, at least right here. It goes all the way back, hits his head and into the prize chute. There's nowhere for it to go. The shovels were so low and the catcher didn't return to its original height, pushes it over the bar and into the prize chute. These plushes are rare, guys. I haven't seen but maybe a small handful of people win these from the last three months I've been on Tereba. These plushes are definitely sought after. 
and super difficult to win. The only reason I was able to win that plush is because of the malfunction of the catcher. The catcher malfunction and it didn't return to its original height. So I'm going to go for the other prize, guys. I'm not going to let this go. I'm going to go far right and check it out. The prize is further right than the catcher will go. So I got to just hope for the best on this one. When it opens up, I'm hoping it's just going to rake it to the left or maybe even when it returns to its original position. Watch this. Opens, gets around, and we're not waiting for that. We're not worried about the grab. We're worried about the catcher returning and it almost grabbed it and took it. But what it did do, it brought it further to the left. It brought the plush further into play for the next try. Maybe even a couple tries down the road because check that out. It's still not as far left as I need it. It's still, yep, it goes all the way back and it hits the head, but now it's still pushing it further left. I'm getting progress. Now it's beautiful. Now it's in the best position it's been in yet. So I know I'm not going to get it on this try. The catcher is going to miss it. Yeah, it has to be in the right position, guys. The catcher has to be just to the right of the prize and literally an inch behind it. So that's what I'm doing here. Maybe on this try, that is perfect. Just to the right of the prize, going to miss it perfectly behind the head opens up don't move it okay now it's all about the return we know this this is the cheat this is the tereba hack if you see the catcher in the down position watch for it come on oh my goodness it got stuck in the hair right claw as it's going back got stuck opened up and spun her around now her feet are over just like the lamillion plush are but I know it's going to get hit by the catcher on the next play, so I got to devise a better plan. Or I got to just hope for the best. I got to hope for some luck that it's not going to push her into an unplayable position. So I'm going to go right. Far right, and there we go. It's raking her like I knew it would. It flipped her all the way over. I went perfectly right, though. That was a good hit. That was a good placement of the catcher just behind her head. Okay, the moment of truth. It drops that little bit. But we know the catcher's malfunction and it's not going to return to its original height. Here we go. Tereba Cheat 101, because I see malfunction catchers like this all the time. And there it is. The return grabs. Oh my goodness, it almost missed at the last second. Watch this, guys. It's about to miss her. It's about to leave it on the bar and miss it completely. But right as it's about to pass her up, the right claw grabs under her hair and throws it in the prize chute. My goodness. That was some luck right there, I will say. Look at that right claw. It's about to miss, but no. Grabs her by the hair and in for the win. So good. On the amazingly difficult plushes to win. These My Hero Academia plushes, one of the toughest that I've seen in any setup on Tereba. About time I could feel like I could cheat them back for all those prize disputes gone the other way. Man, those plushes are so rare. I've seen them played by so many people just dumping tons of money into those machines, never to win one. I gotta admit, I've dumped a few in myself, but I know those machines are notoriously difficult. So amazing that I was able to get a few of them out of a malfunction machine. If you see a catcher that's lower than the prize, try dropping it behind the prize, and when the catcher resets, maybe it'll knock the prize in the prize chute. Big shout out to the supporters who got the Spunky plush and the Pac-Man from my eBay store. You guys are keeping this rolling. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. If you want to help support the channel and buy some of the prizes, check in the description for the link to the eBay. If you enjoyed this one, give it a like and a comment. If you haven't done it already, subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day and be well. Peace.